Hello everybody, welcome to Bales Hay Farm and Ranch. I am Trevor Bales, yes, my last name is Bales, and yes, we bale hay and haul hay and sell hay. All things belling and selling and all things with the hay. Uh, before we do stuff, you know, I always ask, please uh, thumbs up, share, like, comment. And my sponsors, PDI Performance Diesel Incorporated, awesome truck parts for performance semis, and my dad, Bales Hay Sales. Without my dad, without this farm, we wouldn't be here making these videos. Thanks, guys. We're making hay. So today, oh, you guys, I, man, I'm having a little buyer's remorse, right? There was an auction, and you know how I am with auctions. They there's a little deck over trailer which i've been really wanting a deck over trailer so i won that one and i've been looking for a cool decorative uh uh windmill they had a windmill it was kind i'm not gonna tell you what it cost because it's embarrassing but i won that too so i'm waiting for that payment to go through but until then i gotta load some big bales uh, i ran out of big bales my father-in-law ran out of big bales so my neighbor a neighboring farm uh, and friend I buy big bales from them and send them to customers. So we get to watch him load big bales. He's not using a squeeze, he's using his uh, forks. That's Cutter Holt. Sometimes he watches these videos. Cutter, if you're watching, thanks for loading us on a Friday afternoon. Look at this hay. This is some beautiful, beautiful big bales. It's nice hay. He winked at us. I try to be a one-stop shop for anyone, so if you're watching this video and you want some nice hay, or nice big bales, you don't want uh, three-string bales, we either have it ourselves, or I'm gonna find it for you. I'm pretty fast in a squeeze, but a uh, cutter is really fast in a loader. guys make some pretty hay. It's raining outside, but that's why we're in a barn. So there's probably something wrong. There's probably something wrong with those bales. That's why he put them there. I don't know why, but he's really good about splitting hay apart. Oh, look, look, see? He's got good eyesight. 
bet that customer won't care. You should tell him just to throw it on anyways. It's all the way through though. I don't know what that is. It's not corn stock. Ah, uh, yeah, that's corn. So if you if you understand and you know about big bales, you want this isn't new to you, but if if this hay stuff is different, so he sets the first one on and then he uses the next one to push it right where he wants it. That one has the tarps on top because it's raining, this guy is gonna have to tarp. smoother than the squeeze. The squeeze you have to open and close. This just stabs right in. We're at the shop. We're actually building some spears right now. An owl just popped out and flew over there. Everyone says these aren't barns. Why do barn owls live in them? Look at, oh, he's been eating on a dead gopher. Oh, there's some eggs. Holy smokes. I don't know where to put owl eggs. That sucks. They're everywhere, though. in there. Quack. My guys are actually back home. Brian and Drew, they are bailing right now and instead of using the semis to haul it out, I say back home, a couple miles away, they were using the retriever trucks. As soon as that roadsider or bail wagon has that hay uh, in a stack, we're hauling it out. So we'll go from here back to there and see how much hay they're getting before this rain hits them because they're, they're like eight miles away. So we're right, it's barely sprinkling. We're right at the front of this storm. Already over halfway loaded. I'll show you the spears we're building. His has five. The set I have is older. It's got, it only has three, but it has three big ones. See how he pushes that? And he can see this rail. Oh, look how he just gets that so nice and straight. He's, a, he's been doing this, a, and he loads a lot of it. He's been doing it a long time and they move a lot of hay. The cat's a 924H. I bet it has a lot of hours. Not many digging hours. They use these loaders. All they do is move hay around. That's it. Why well, set this aside? He might have it because it's got the field number so he can remember. Yeah, it looks fine. He must have set it aside so he knows this. I, I honestly don't know. Watch how he really pushes it right where he wants it. Look at that. 
perfect. Just moves it a few inches. Look, you can see this rail the whole way down. Makes this, makes this look easy. So if you notice, he tipped them over. Now he's stacking them up there because they won't fit with the amount of space that's left on the back of the trailer. He'll put three, one, two, three, right there. Look at that. Uh oh. He didn't pull his brakes. I'll let him do it. Look at that gets it nice and tight. Oh, he's going to get crazy and he's going to put six more on yet. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to leave it like that. He's gonna use every inch plus. Look at Cutter, looking out for the customer. He'll push one more time at the end here. Some pretty hay. Alfalfa. Get a pusher stack. No, oh, he's not going to get a pusher stack. Nice and tight. Awesome. Ugh. It's raining. So I gotta wait for him, take him back, and I'll um, I'll wait, scale him out. He's gotta throw a tarp, obviously, but um, it's chilly too. It's like 82 degrees yesterday. All right, holy smokes, you guys. Okay, my, apparently the uh, wire transfer didn't go through the auction yard, and then by the time I did, it was too late yesterday, and I didn't feel like driving into Phoenix at, at three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then 
with this with my squeeze this set screw right here that controls the valve kept backing off backing off backing off well I put some thread lock in there I didn't not and I couldn't see the thread lock but apparently it was all going down into here so if you look this handle I push it down it goes right back right back well now this one is hard to push and it stays and it stays because the thread lock got all down in there and the thread lock got all down in those threads so I can't get that little screw out I accidentally stripped this one out which I'm not sure how that happened so I can't get this thing off but the two next to it came out so what I'm gonna do is pull that uh, that lock lock out and hopefully tap that rod that all the way through that's my uh, that's my goal anyways and you guys get to join me on this adventure and the auction isn't open the auction yard isn't open on Saturdays so I gotta wait till Monday to go get it these pins always scare me like what if it flies and hits me in the eyeball oh that was easy so here's my issue these springs are setting at a funny angle because this is it a, I don't know, 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna have to pull these screws out and, and tilt this so this is flat, uh, horizontal. And then I can set the this back down right on it. Ugh, all this because I put Loctite on here, you guys. Should've been paying more attention. All right, I've got enough air. Highway mode. It's a good sign. This one never took apart, so it's fine. Alright, these two. Good, good. Last one. This is the one that flew apart on me. Oh, yes. Oh, what a feeling. surgeon I have terrible news I just found a spring on the floor no man okay for the second test it works no air leaking all right, that's finally over with. Well, I am gonna spend the rest of my couple hours in the office working on a contract, and then I am going to a wedding tonight. Thanks for watching, we'll see you later.